Good morning, good evening, wherever you may be. My name is Arcada, and welcome to the Bailbag Showdown for the week of August 19th, 2013, answering questions, comments, and giving opinions on the world of anime and Western otakus in general. If you would like to send in an email, you can at mailbagshowdown at glassreflection.net, and maybe I might or might not get back to you. Who knows? It's a magical process sending me an email. Regardless, though, Let's get started. I thought you made some excellent points on the subject and I respect your opinion, but I disagree with your take in some respects. My question is twofold. First, are you okay with people who pirate slash stream anime watching your videos and subscribing to you as long as they don't post any illegal links? Or do you only want viewers who watch anime legally? Second, what do you think about watching anime online when the license has expired? For example, Haruhi Suzumiya was licensed by Bandai before they went under, and the entire English dub has been readily viewable on YouTube for almost a year now via an illegal upload, as has the movie. Personally, I would prefer that people who watched my reviews didn't use them to decide what anime to start pirating, but honestly, I can't do anything about it if they did. It just sort of goes with the territory, and I can accept that. Like, I can stop illegal linking when I notice it, which makes me feel a little better about it, but just with the sheer amount of comments I get on a daily basis, that's almost impossible as well. So yeah, on that front, I'd prefer people didn't use it, but I can't stop them, so I don't worry myself about it. As for when the license has expired, it really does depend. Because personally, I would look at how available the shows are. Even with Bandai having gone under, I could still pick up all of Haruhi rather easily, for the same price or cheaper as it was when Bandai was still around, so it's a matter of availability. Because for me, if it's still available, then I should morally be still buying it. It's a little different though in situations where you could not buy a show, even if you wanted to, that I might be okay with. Hey, how you doing? I'm gonna jump straight to the point. What is your take on sports anime coming to the West? I can never find any sports anime dubbed. I was watching anime like Eye Shield 21, Night in the Area, Kuroko no Basuke, and etc. And I asked other anime viewer why they don't like sports anime, and they couldn't give me a reason. Sports animes require the viewer to be interested in the sport itself. As it happens, nerds in North America are rather against sports in general, as they do not fall under the traditional nerdy category, and instead under the jocks and other assholes category. It's just a bias that a lot of people can't really get around, and it leads to problems for other people. Like Funimation currently has a stance on not planning to license any more sports anime after the financial flop for them that was the licensing of Big Windup. It sucks, but it happens, unfortunately. And that's me done for this week. If you would like to send an email, please be sure to check out my FAQ video to make sure I have not already answered whatever it is you may want to ask. And after that, feel free to send me a message at mailbagshowdown at glassreflection.net, and I will get to your email when I have the time, with the best of them being used for the show. Please subscribe for more videos and semi-weekly anime reviews. Follow me on Twitter at glassreflection for other random nonsense that I may post on the internet. And until next time, ladies, gentlemen, and others, stay frosty.